Hello and welcome to a new day at Electronica 2016. Do you know just how important electronics are in the field of medicine? They're used not only in everything from diagnostics to treatment, but also in prevention. In fact, electronics are a key technology in the field of medicine. Patients want to have a say in their treatments. They want more information and transparency. And that brings us to our next topic, medical electronics. So I'm standing here with Corinna from AMS, and AMS has developed a new camera that could possibly revolutionize medicine. So, Corinna, tell me all about this. What is it? Um, what are you planning on having it used for? So, as you already mentioned, in your hand you're holding the smallest camera model in the world. It only has a footprint size of one millimeter by one millimeter. So, it's incredibly small and nearly invisible. It's great for medical endoscopy, so the doctors can go into the, even the smallest blood vessels and arteries. And also, our customers can choose between different lens options, resolutions, and also cable lengths. You can see where this will revolutionize yeah. endoscopy, you know? So, yeah. yeah, and pediatrics as well, I'm sure. It's also good for consumer products and industrial products. For example, it can go into gesture recognition for smartphones and handhelds, or eye tracking in virtual reality headsets. Yeah, I can think of a load of possibilities for this little thing. <laughs> Karina, thank you so much. This is a fascinating product. Electronica, we're about to go find out what other kind of innovations are on the horizon in the area of health diagnostics and prevention. With many innovations, tried and tested products are linked with novel technologies which open up unimagined possibilities. And that's the case with the smart toothbrush from ST Microelectronics. Data are transmitted via Bluetooth to the smartphone app. The user finds out facts in real time about their cleaning behavior. Hospitals or nursing homes deal with a large amount of patients, streams of visitors and all sorts of activities on a daily basis. Fujitsu has developed the smart beacon for these operating conditions. Its main task, the transmission of position data via Bluetooth, regardless of whether this involves the localization of patients or equipment. In addition, the beacon can interact with mobile apps and be programmed individually. One of the nice things to, to know uh, for, uh, about this technology is that it's uh, very secure. So hospitals uh, who are having a lot of uh, discussion about patient privacy, etc., etc., beacons are only transmitting data. They are not collecting data. So uh, there is, in that perspective, no uh, security issue. Uh, the mobile phone of the user itself will use the, the, the information sent by the beacon to navigate through the building or other aspects. At Electronica, great importance is attached to so-called wearables. Vishe has developed a sensor for sun worshippers that can measure the UVA and UVB values and pass the data on to the smartwatch, a good way to reduce the incidence of skin cancer. According to the experts, the use of wearables will increase, for an unexpected reason, however. We are seeing a very important shift in the market going from sickness management to uh, healthcare management. So I think the area that's really important for wearables today and in the coming future is the prevention of disease, and providing tools to people so that they can themselves uh, take care of their own health. But also once you get sick to manage that disease. So it is understandable that wearable data processors at Electronica will play an increasingly important role. At Electronica Fast Forward, the startup area at Electronica. This is where select pioneers with startups around the world present their ideas to the industry. I'm just about to talk with Christian Kin from Nevis Q. His goal is to advance the use of electronics in medicine. Christian, why don't you tell me about your invention, what to do, and um, yeah, how far along are you? We have developed a system for fall detection and fall prevention. Uh, it uses baseboards in which uh, infrared sensors and LEDs are installed and uh, we can see the movements of people, we can see the feet of people uh, walking around and we can detect faults. Uh, we have heard from nurses that there are big problems in nursing homes. Sometimes uh, people are found after three hours and they have to wait in the bathroom that somebody finds them. 
and that's why we developed the system. So we have really precise data, but it's not too precise to violate the privacy of the residents. We don't have a cam camera, for example. We don't see what the uh, person is actually doing. We just see that uh, what we need. Wow. Well, I wish you lots of luck. Thank you. It sounds like a great project, and um, yeah, I hope it works. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. So why don't we go talk with another startup now. We've got Mr. Pilz from the company Conjugo. Mr. Pilz, nice yes. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Why don't you tell me about your invention? What is it? Who's it for? Yeah, this is an infrared uh, thermal scanner for foot sole or another uh, part of, of the body that is uh, suffering from um, blood circulation diseases. So uh, often this happens with diabetic patients and they have uh, uh, bad gangrenous on the foot sole. So uh, this patient can make an infrared image of the foot sole every day to send it directly to a medical care center that can then uh, have a look at that and can check whether this is okay or not. So maybe we can show you this and sure. uh, I, I can I make an image of your hand it, right? here. Okay. It is done like that, you put your hand here on, now you can see the image of the hand and of course it is uh, possible to uh, use it for uh, hands or foot sole or sure. uh, every okay. part of the body. Kind of psychedelic looking. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you very much for showing us your thank invention, you. Mr. Pilz. We yeah. wish you lots of luck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, that's it for today from the world of medical electronics. Tomorrow, it's down to the crunch. We're going to find out where digitalization in the world of embedded systems will take us and what's new on the horizon for data protection and security. See you then. Mm -hmm.